do this video tutorial of uh, one step checkout from Vision to two and uh, using this extension uh, it will be simplifying the checkout process by uh, reducing the number of steps to only one they were allowing your Merchant to two store customers to buy the products in just a single tab the registered and the guest users can make use of this one step checkout process to quickly find all the information like the billing shipping information and the payment information on a single page at the time of checkout so let's get ahead and let's see uh, what different settings we have in the admin backend panel so uh, the admin would have to log in to his admin panel in the first place and after that he'll be navigating to stores configuration and uh, in the configuration section under the web cool block uh, will you find the setting to enable or disable this uh, extension now uh, under the web cool block uh, you'll find the one step checkout uh, menu option here you need to click that up and uh, that would bring up uh, the settings for the one step checkout either you can select yes or no to enable or disable this one step checkout uh, at the uh, at the time of checkout so uh, if you set it as yes then the one uh, step checkout would be enabled uh, at the time of checkout and uh, if you select this as no then the normal uh, magento checkout process that is a multi-step process uh, would be displayed on the front end on your uh, store front end so let's select it as yes so as uh, the customers would be able to use uh, the one step checkout process uh, at the time of checkout and we'll hit the save configuration button here on the top right hand end so uh, let the configuration complete and uh, let's go and let's see how uh, a registered customer can uh, make use of the one step che checkout process in the first place and after that we'll see how a guest user can also make use uh, of uh, uh, the same uh, one step checkout process uh, one thing uh, to note is that uh, you'll be able to make use of uh, your uh, gift coupons at uh, the one step checkout page as well uh, uh, like the magento so uh, let's go and let's check the front end uh, so the registered user would uh, log into his account in the first place and after that uh, whichever product he is going to purchase he'll add that product into the cart uh, so as to go to the checkout uh, page so uh, um, uh, now uh, after the uh, registered user, user has uh, added the product into the cart uh, he'll be clicking the go to checkout button here to go to the checkout uh, to go to the one step checkout page to fill in the rest of the information there so here you can see that uh, after clicking the proceed uh, button we're on the one step checkout uh, page and uh, the registered user can uh, see his uh, shipping address here all the addresses that he has already saved uh, the user can even add a new address here for example let's go ahead and add a new address for this uh, customer so let's say it's 1731 31 Geneva extension and West West Latch and New York and let's uh, set the pin code as one zero nine nine four and we'll enter the phone number as well for now is entering a <coughs> random number here so and uh, after clicking uh, the save address this address would be saved uh, to the address book of this registered user and uh, if you don't want to save this address and just want to use this address for the checkout you can uncheck this option here save in an address book so we'll just click uh, save in address book to save this address and to use this uh, for the next step and we'll hit the save address so here you can see that we have already saved this new address for the new user here 
and uh, on the same page uh, all of the information has been displayed you can see that there is the shipping address here for the selection of the shipping method you have the um, sorry the shipping address is there uh, you have the shipping method you can select any of the shipping methods that have been uh, enabled by the admin from the back end uh, you can then select the payment method and uh, on the order summary you'll be able to hit the place order button here so uh, the user will have to just click a single button here to complete the order so let's get ahead and let's select the shipping method now we've selected the flat rate shipping method here uh, for this example we have uh, added the shipping address selected the uh, shipping method here and uh, we'll now select our payment method we'll go for the check and money order for this example and uh, you can see the rest of the details as well you can see that uh, make check payable to and send check to option is there and after selecting the payment method uh, the user will directly click the place order button here to complete his purchase also you can see that uh, there is the order total and the number of items is as well displayed here under the order summary section so definitely this uh, extension has uh, helped and has reduced the number of steps uh, the multiple number of steps uh, that were there in the default magento and uh, uh, this has uh, reduce the number of steps to only one and uh, you can see that the order has been placed here and uh, one more thing is that uh, the uh, registered customers or the guest user can even make use of the uh, uh, like if they have any uh, gift coupon code or a voucher code uh, that can also be redeemed at uh, the one step checkout page there so uh, you can see here uh, the order has been uh, processed and uh, the shipping address that we had uh, entered the new shipping address you, you have that new shipping address here under the shipping address information you can see the selected uh, shipping method that we had selected there the flat rate and uh, uh, here we have the payment method we have selected the check and money order so uh, that was all about uh, the one step checkout uh, in Magento 2 uh, uh, Magento 2 uh, for the registered uh, user so let's get ahead and let's see how uh, uh, how a guest user can make use of the one step checkout process uh, one more thing uh, I wanted to note here is that uh, a registered user can even uh, uh, log in at the one step check, one step checkout uh, page as well so there will be an option to uh, log in for the registered users so let's get ahead we have not logged in as you can see here we have a sign in sign here so we'll be just adding a product first uh, i guess you do, would uh, add the product first to the cart and uh, after that uh, he'll be going to the checkout page so after adding the product into the cart the uh, guest user will click on the go to checkout button here and he'll be redirected to the one step checkout page uh, for the magento 2 here and uh, here you can see uh, that all of the uh, information um, uh, like the billing and shipping address the shipping method the payment method and the order summary are visible here and we have uh, an option to place the order a single button on the single page one more thing is there that uh, if uh, you already are registered uh, on this website so if you have an email address and you input that input address here uh, then uh, the system will check whether you are having an account with them or not so for example I've written test at the rate of webcool.com so if I'll be having an uh, account on this uh, website then uh, the website would prompt me to sign in or uh, continue as a guest so uh, if I have a password I'll type in the password and directly click the login button here to log in else uh, if I'm having a registered account on this uh, website I'll click on the login link here because you can see here that uh, already have an account login here so you can directly type in your email address and your password to login and uh, place the order 
on this page so we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, use a another email address that is not registered uh, on this uh, website so that we are able to check out as a guest so we'll just type in uh, the email address and uh, we'll try and check out so after typing in my email address uh, because uh, the, this email address has never been used uh, to create an account on this uh, magento 2 web store so uh, uh, this email address is uh, totally new like a guest user so i'll just input the first and last name uh, for this guest user the company name or something let's uh, uh, type in my street uh, my street address my city I'll select my country then I'll enter the state and province uh, for the selected country need to input the postal code and my telephone number and after inputting all the information on the shipping address section uh, the shipping methods would get displayed according to the address uh, that we have inputted here and the guest user will select one of uh, the allowed shipping methods and selecting the shipping methods would populate the payment methods available uh, for uh, it and uh, the guest user will select any of uh, the payment methods and here you can see uh, that you have an option uh, that I was talking about uh, 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 I said that uh, the registered as well as the guest users can apply a discount code on the one-step checkout page as well uh, like the default Magento so uh, that has uh, for the default Magento that has uh, multiple uh, uh, steps for the checkout and uh, on the last page here you are able to apply the discount code so uh, we have set this discount uh, code uh, section here so that uh, both of the guests uh, both of the guests as well as the registered users can apply their coupon codes on the checkout page and you can apply it here and after that uh, the guest user would uh, see his order summary here and the total number of items in the cart with the order total uh, and uh, clicking the place order but place the order for the guest and uh, he'll be able to create an account later um, as per his uh, uh, need so uh, right now the order is getting processed all right and uh, here you can see that uh, the order has been placed and uh, uh, the store will be mailing uh, an order confirmation with the details and the tracking info and uh, you can even uh, track the order status by creating an account so you can uh, hit this create an account button here to create a new account uh, on this web store using the email address that we just typed in so uh, that was all about the one step checkout process for the Magento 2 uh, uh, web store and uh, that's how uh, the multiple steps have been uh, uh, reduced to uh, only one and uh, the customers can easily now purchase their products uh, uh, through the web store all right uh, if you have any uh, uh, any query or suggestion uh, regarding this plugin and uh, um, uh, you can always uh, email us uh, at uh, support at the rate of webcool dot com or uh, you can always raise a ticket at uh, webcool.uvdesk.com uh, thanks for watching this uh, video for uh, the one step checkout for uh, magento 2 you can always uh, check our uh, line demo as well as the user guide on our store uh, it's a uh, uh, you can check the links in the description below uh, for this uh, video and uh, thanks for watching the video have a great day ahead.